I think you said everyone is lazy. Um, what you'd like to hear about is uh, how to how to succeed in spite of it. Like, don't talk about like hearing about it isn't isn't super useful. So, what's the useful part? Is that the I don't know. <laughs> is that fair? <laughs> I don't I don't mean that ironically. I'm just trying to summarize efficiently. Is that okay? Okay. I boy, I don't know. I mean. I was asked to talk about failure, <laughs> and it, it was, believe me, I have a lot of notes, and it was tempting to talk about success because, you know, um, so, but I didn't because I had to stay on point, and I don't, I mean, I don't, I mean, how, how would I, I mean, it's I, like, it, there's a lot of assumptions there about, um, It sounds as though what would be what you'd be into is like hearing an unpacking of my creative process, which sounds super legit and sure if you're asking for it. But I, can, I don't I don't know if I can just spit that out. I mean I can think about it while we're talking and maybe it can come back around. But I didn't I didn't I didn't sit down to write about that. I I just I I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's fair. Maybe I can. Um, I mean is that like is that shared? Like, would that be cool if I tried to, like, I could try and do a follow-up or something? I don't know. But anyway, let's just move on. Sorry. I'll try and come back around on it if I can. What's up? Um, I was curious about the first time you failed. What was, uh, what was your process for bouncing back? Like, what happened to you? Or was it, like, mentor shifting that got you going? Or did you, like, break something, destroy a room? Like, what was your bouncing back process? I think maybe what I love about the internet is the anonymity of failure. Like you don't, I mean I've been working on internet projects for long enough now that I would say the visits, I mean like visits, I don't really check analytics too much anymore. But at least once upon a time, like visits were the, I'm not trying to avoid the question. Um, visits were the, were the metric of success, where it's like if you got a lot of hits, then you did something right, and if you didn't, then you did something wrong, and it was pretty, it was pretty simple. And I, you know, I did that very early, like since very early on. So for me, failure was always subjective, I guess, where it was like, you put, like there was, you, know, you put something up, and then you don't get a lot of attention for it, and then that's just, well, that kind of sucks. Like for me, it was always design portals. Like back in the day, there was always like News Today and Surf Station and uh, <laughs> like, Style Boost and uh, linked, 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 not LinkedIn, linked. Uh, someone shouted out if you know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> anyway, uh, like two, yeah. Anyway, so there was just a lot of sites, and you would want to do work that would get featured on the sites. And if you got featured on the on these different portals, like the more like design is kinky. That's another one. Um, the more you got featured on, the better you did. And so it, I don't know. I don't. I don't have like a distinct memory of like a failure where I was just like, oh. Uh, and I I think generally I'm kind of a chill person. Um, like I've got, I've been pretty dicked over uh, quite a few times. Like I would call that a pretty pure expression of failure. Like when a good friend just like kicks you <laughs> a couple times. Like that's hard. And I just generally don't really let it. I just, I mean, I don't, I don't mean to be that guy, but I, um, I guess I realized a while ago that when negative things happen, it's really easy to dwell on them, and they'll bounce around in your head a lot. Like, if, like even if someone says something cranky to you, they're like, what's up? Like a, like a taxi driver could say, hey, asshole. And like, you'll be thinking about it two hours later, or at least I will. I was like, man, I wish I had said this, or like, I wasn't an asshole, or... And um, part of me, I think part of me, like really enjoying Ipswich, and part of me, like not taking a lot of emails, and like not really, like human interaction is difficult. <laughs> and like failure is very difficult. <laughs> and like, you just get to choose what bounces around. And when you fail, it's like, well, you get to choose what you focus on. And so if you get backstabbed by your friend, you can either dwell on it and get really upset for a long time, or you can just be like, well, now I know, and do something else, because fuck it. So I, don't, I just don't have, I mean, the first failures for me were like my early websites, and the failings were that they didn't get noticed. You know, I think that's the, like that's, to me, that's the opposite of success was I had like apathy, or it's just like, oh, no one cared. That's just. Yeah, that's awful. I mean, I realized a long time ago that I want the whole world to tell me I'm smart. <laughs> like, that was like, that was like, I, I realized that, and that was a moment of peace for me. And that just relates to like how I was raised and my own insecurities and stuff. So for me, like, to not get any kind of feedback about, about how clever that is, it's just like, oh, that's just the worst. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't, that's, well, I shouldn't apologize. That was an answer. But you got my answer. <laughs> uh, the question is, how do I feel when I see stuff like fail harder or um, like fuck it, ship it, maybe? Kind of fair. 
I don't think anything about them, to be totally honest. I just don't think about them. <laughs> but if you're... <laughs> I would say, I don't know, like, it's just hard, you know? Like, I guess I, part of where I'm coming from is just I have learned to respect myself, which sounds really corny, and, like, I, I just, like... We're trained to think so many things about everything, and that's just one of them. And uh, some messages get picked up by other people, and so they become stronger, and so the signal gets louder, and some of them have like funding through like the church or the government, or like, you know, there's just, we're just told a lot of things. But generally, like, what I'm trying to come to is that every, like, this applies to everyone, which is just, you should be doing whatever you think is the most interesting, or something like that. Like, take yourself seriously. Take your brain seriously. You have a gift. Like, your brain is incredible. <laughs> like, your brain is phenomenal. It's, we don't know of anything else in the universe, like your brain inside your head. If there was only one of them, it would be a precious object. Like, we would, like, you know, it's like the monolith. It's like, it's just, it's, and you have one, and you have a body that operates it, and you get to do all this crazy stuff, and then it's like, well, should I worry about failure? Well, I don't know. Maybe, if that's, like, what you're drawn to care about. But uh, generally, it's like... <laughs> it's just, uh, if, you're, if you're having a hard time being interested in it, pay attention to why that is. I have this thing called the New, the New York Times test, where it's like, everyone, like, give everyone the same New York Times, they're all going to open it, they're going to, and just tell them to read it for like half an hour. They're going to jump through it in different ways. Some of them will jump to the back and go da da da. some of them will like, they'll go to different sections, they'll go to the art section, some of them will go to the obituary, some will stay on the front page, some of them will read it from front to back, etc. Their method and their interest and the collection of those all together are that people, are like, is that person. Like, there is no one else in the world that would look at the paper that same way. And I'm mostly trying to say that about your life in general. So your collection and my collection of interests and what I want to work on, that is what I should be doing, essentially. Like, no one else has that. My collection of, like, my context and, like, where I'm at right now and speaking to you and all this other stuff, like, no one else has that, so use it to best, use the best of it that you can. And don't worry so much about the stuff that sucks because you're probably not supposed to go there. Like, just, just use it as, like, the defining pattern of, like, I'm not that, you know? But that's okay, because you're not a lot of things. But you are you, and that's huge. So, yeah. <laughs>